Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this RGB separation effect using a plugin called Displacer Pro and how to loop it perfectly in a four second video. Let's check it out. In order to get started, you're going to need two things. The first is uh, visiting pexels.com and grabbing the image that I used. Of course, you can use any image you want or even video footage, but this is where I got my image from. And the second, I'm using the Displacer Pro plugin that you can find on aescripts.com. And uh, once you download it, you will find a README file that will explain where to install the plugin. And it will show up when you boot up After Effects. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. You can always hit on composition and go new comp as well, or control N as a shortcut. So we'll name this um, my new effect. It's set at 1920 pixels by 1080, and frame rate is 30, and I've got the duration set at four seconds. Hit OK. First thing I'm going to do is uh, click and drag my photo into my timeline and I'm going to hit S for scale and you have to have the photo highlighted when you hit S to bring up the scale and I'm just going to bring this down until it lines up to the edges here. Then I'm going to go find the effect that I'm looking for. So Displacer Pro, it's right here and going to click and drag it to my image. And under the effects controls, we have a few options here in front of us. So the first, I'm going to set the map layer to my image. My channel is set to luminance. And I'm going to make some map adjustments as well. I'm going to start by changing the displacement easing to easing, ease in and out. Then I'm going to go into transform and this is where I'm going to put my keyframes. So um, on the first frame here, I'm going to hit on the stopwatch and it's going to be set at 0%. Then I'm going to go to one second and click here, bring in 30%. Then I want to go to two minutes or two, two seconds. And I want to set this back to zero. And then same thing for the 30 seconds. I'll go minus 30 this time. And then at four seconds, I'm going to put minus one. And the idea here is that this four seconds of animation should loop perfectly by the end of it. So now I'm just going to click on this arrow here and click on it again. And I want to open up effects, Displacer Pro. Under Transform, we're going to find the Translate X, highlight all of our keyframes, right click, Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. And I'm going to close those menu options now. I'm going to move my cursor back to roughly the middle of my comp so I can see what I'm doing with the effects. I'm opening up chromatic aberration now and this is where I'm going to offset the colors to give it an RGB separation. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on the red channel and set that to 0.45. Go to my green, set it to 0.70 and on the blue I'm gonna leave it at 1. On the edge behavior set that to mirror repeat and then here's where the magic happens I'm gonna go to displacement offset and set it to 1. And let's see how that looks like when it's animated. And there you have it. This is sort of like an RGB separation animation using Displacer Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.